again, there's a theme here. I want to keep talking about vaccinations and what we're going to be doing in the next couple days. Uh, we've had a lot of success rolling out the, the vaccines. And, and if you'll indulge me here, I'd just like to brag a little bit. Uh, according to this morning's New York Times, uh, Pennsylvania has 66.7% of its population, total population, with at least one dose, 53.1% with that's fully vaccinated of the population. Uh, and that's 79.4% of adults 18 and older, 63.8% of adults 18 and older. And the New York Times has is greater than 99%, 65 and older, which has this number one in the country. So the, the place where we're lagging uh, is we're, we're 19th, third among the top most, most popular, the 10 most popular states in terms of fully vaccinated, in terms of the total population. And I think where we're lagging is probably in the younger uh, generation. Uh, but the vaccines really work. And, and you can see this in the hospitalization numbers. Like the rest of the country, Pennsylvania has increased the number of cases. But we are actually uh, one of the best states, I think third from the best in terms of, of the overall uh, rate of cases per 100,000 over the last 14 days. So that, that mo moving average is, I think, is important. If you look at any one day, Tuesday is usually a pretty bad day. But if you look at the 14-day average, we're at 12 cases per 100,000. The U.S. is at 38. And if you look at some of the states like Louisiana, I think they're over 100 per 100,000. So we're, we're in, in good shape there. Hospitalization, we're at 7. The national rate is 19 per 100,000. But again, we have a, we were just talking about this inside, Pennsylvania also has a pretty high capacity. We have a lot of hospitals and a lot of healthcare facilities. So our capacity is pretty high, but even without taking that into account, uh, we're 10th in the nation, I think, in, in terms of, of hospitalization rates and all time, uh, we're also one of the lowest. So there's, there's my bragging for where we are. Uh, the point though today is that as good as we're doing, as, as well as we're doing, um, it's not good enough that with the vaccine we actually have the the ability to do even better and this is not where we want to be again as good as it is but every one of us lives in communities where we have vulnerable populations people who are at greater risk from more dangerous and more contagious variants of the COVID-19 like the Delta variant right now that risk is increasing as these variants spread across the the nation and again, we're not in the hot spot, but, but we have no reason to be complacent. We've got to keep working. I spoke, is that rain? <laughs> just, it's just right, right on me. So uh, I, I spoke last Friday about, I'll speak, I'll go fast here. I'll speak uh, how the vaccine is actually, what's, what's going on here? <laughs> so I uh, talked about how the, uh, uh, this was kind of unexpected. Yeah, why don't we just take, do you have an umbrella? You all right? Okay. Anyway, the, the idea is that, that last Friday talked about how we can slow the spread of vaccines. We have the ability to do this just by getting vaccinated. That was true uh, ever since the vaccine came out. It's certainly true now that the supply and the demand are in, in, in sync with each other. Um, and it's why in Pennsylvania, we're trying to make sure that, that we keep everyone safe by getting the vaccine. It's the right thing to do. If you live uh, in a play in any community with anybody who's vulnerable, you're a shield only if you get vaccinated. If you don't choose to be vaccinated, you're not gonna serve as a shield and you're putting the people around you, your neighbors, your family members, your friends, your community at risk. So on September 7th, we're gonna start with those facilities that the Commonwealth owns that are congregate care facilities like the uh, veterans homes uh, and there are a bunch of others uh, that we will be giving employees there the choice either get a vaccine or you're going to have to be tested and that's the choice that they're going to start on the 7th of, of September starting October 1st all employees of the Commonwealth will be given an incentive to get a vaccine we'll give you a day off that's pretty good. Get a day off if you get the vaccine. Uh, and we'll ask you to attest that you've gotten it. Uh, and uh, then uh, that starts October 1st. Uh, and uh, uh, we want to reward those who have already gotten the vaccine and, and encourage those who have not yet decided to get the vaccine to get the vaccine. Uh, 
we just need to do this kind of thing to get more people to do the right thing, get the vaccine, be the shield we need you to be to make Pennsylvanians safe. Um, and we, we've got to do this, this kind of thing. States around us are doing all kinds of things like this, and, and, and I think it's the right thing for us to do, especially for those who depend on the Commonwealth and the Commonwealth employees to keep them safe. So uh, businesses are doing this, other states are doing this, and I think it's the right thing to, to do. Everybody wants to make sure we do everything we can. This is getting heavy. Everything we can to keep people safe in the facilities that the Commonwealth operates.